NSK Surgic Pro Introduction and Unboxing. NSK's Surgic Pro is a surgical micromotor for implant and oral surgeries and comes in two models optic with LED light and non optic that does not have light. In this video, we'll explain the contents of the original packaging. Let's begin. Here's what you'll find inside the box handpiece stand, foot control with cord, micromotor with cord, AC power cord, control unit, O rings, protection plug for motor spare fuses, tube holders, calibration drill, optic or non-optic implant contra angle, depending on the model of the motor, Y connector, E-type spray nozzle, cleaning wire, internal spray nozzle, nozzle holder, coolant solution hanger post, irrigation tubes. Now let's move on to setting up your Surgic Pro. Installation. Connect the motor cord by aligning the marks on the cord connector and the connection on the control unit. Push in the connector until you hear a click. Slightly pull the cord to make sure it's locked in place. Next, connect the foot control cord using the guide pin located at the bottom of the connector, which is at the back of the unit. Tighten the lock nut to screw and secure the connection. Insert the attachment into the motor and twist until it locks in place. Non-optic attachments do not need to be twisted to be locked in. However, microsurgery handpieces will need to be twisted on non-optic motors to be locked in place. Next, mount the coolant solution hanger post and hang the saline bag. To install the irrigation tube, be sure the lever of the pump is turned to open and the needle end of the tubing is facing toward the back of the unit. Then bend the tubing and insert inside the spindle. Make sure the two stoppers on the tubing stay outside the pump. Then, turn the lever back to close. Clamp the irrigation tube to stop the flow of fluid and insert the needle at the end of it into the saline bag. Attach the irrigation tube to the cord using seven holders which are autoclavable. The irrigation tube, however, cannot be autoclaved and is single use. Connect the AC power cord to the power socket at the back of the control unit. Then plug into a power outlet. There are two ways to connect the irrigation tube to the implant attachment, depending on the type of the drill being used in the operation. Single external spray is very common, in which case, connect the end of the irrigation tube directly to the external spray nozzle of the attachment. If you need dual irrigation, use the internal spray nozzle in addition to the Y connector. The internal spray nozzle is mounted on the neck of the attachment. Using the black holder, with a slight push, it will click into place. Simply connect the Y connector to the end of the main irrigation tube. Then connect one of the water supply tubes to the external spray nozzle. So the free end of the Y connector is connected to the internal spray nozzle. This dual irrigation setup is only used in unique cases with certain drills. Open the tube clamp and the air cap. Your Surgic Pro is ready to operate. Unit controls. Now, let's review the touch panel on the front of the unit and its control buttons. Speed buttons are used to adjust the rotation speed. Torque buttons are used to change or set the torque values between 5 and 80 Newton centimeters for implant attachments. You will notice the amount of bone resistance applied to the drill is displayed here like a graph during operation. Program buttons will select any of eight programs in each of eight implant systems. Light button sets the display light brightness levels. Of course, this only applies to the Surgic Pro with LED optic motor. Coolant flow button adjusts the level of coolant and can be set up to six different levels, which includes no water flow at all. Forward reverse button changes the rotational direction of the micromotor. Gear button selects the matching ratio for your different attachments. For example, 20 to 1 for implant contra angle. Memory button is used to store the parameters of a custom setting in a program. After choosing the proper speed, torque, gear ratio, forward or reverse, coolant flow, simply press the memory button for two seconds until you hear a beep to store the settings. You can store up to eight programs for eight different implant systems. 
Note, to switch between implant systems, press the plus or minus buttons at the same time. The Cal button is used to calibrate a new attachment. There will be more on this in the calibration section later in this video. Your Surgic Pro can also be controlled by the included foot control to avoid touching the panel during a procedure. The foot control allows you to choose the program number, change the irrigation flow, and switch between forward or reverse direction. The blue button on the foot control adjusts the coolant flow. The black button shuttles between your preset programs. The green button to flip between forward or reverse. Note, you will hear beeps when the micro motor is set in reverse direction. Lastly, the speed control pedal runs the motor. Operation. Let's show how to operate your Surgic Pro. First, turn on the power using the main power switch. Select the desired preset program number by pressing the plus or minus on the panel or the black button on the foot control. Verify the program details. Step on the speed control paddle in the middle of the foot control to run the micromotor and the pump. If at some point in a procedure, a drill becomes stuck in the bone and the torque exceeds the set value in the program, the error message safe will appear on the panel. You will hear a beep and the device will stop. Tap on the speed pedal to clear the error. Then press the green button on the foot control to change the rotational direction and step on the speed control pedal again to release the drill. Don't forget to change the rotational direction back to forward using the touch panel or by pressing the green button again. Now you're ready for another round of drilling. Calibration. Calibration is aligning the specs of an implant attachment with the control unit to make sure there's the correct amount of speed and torque being delivered through the attachment to the drill. As implant attachments age through normal wear and tear, or when you want to use a new attachment with the motor, you'll need to perform calibration. Note, the original attachment included in the package is pre-calibrated in the factory. Here's how you do it. Attach the 20 to 1 attachment to the motor and insert the calibration drill. Press the cal key for two seconds. After you hear a long beep, the display will turn to calibration mode. You're ready to calibrate. Step one is no load calibration. Torque displays L. Hold the motor in one hand and press cal key. The drill will begin to rotate. Once this part is completed, you will hear a beep and see done on the display. Step two. Load calibration. Torque display changes to H now. Insert the hexagon head of the drill into the calibration block. Hold the motor tightly so it cannot move left or right. Press the cow key. The drill will begin to rotate the round block rather heavily. Once this part is completed, you will hear a beep and see done on the display. Step three, speed calibration. Remove the drill and leave the motor and the attachment on the handpiece stand. Press the cow key. The attachment will start working and rotate for 8 seconds at slow speed and another 8 seconds at fast speed. When it's done, you will hear a beep and the calibration process is complete. Care and maintenance. After each operation, it's important to immediately clean and lubricate the attachment. During procedures, blood and other oral fluids are sucked into the internal gears. These fluids can dry in less than a minute and cause damage to the attachment. Here's how we do it. Remove the drill. Pull the attachment gently out of the motor. Clean the external surface of the attachment using a cleaning wipe or alcohol. Shake the oil can for three or four seconds, keeping it in an upright position. Insert the E-type nozzle adapter to the back of the attachment. Cover the head of the attachment with paper towel and spray the oil into the attachment while holding the can in upright position. Make sure the oil flushes the debris out of the attachment and clear oil comes out of the head. This should take four to five seconds. If you notice debris on the paper towel, repeat the process until the oil is completely clear. Due to the design of straight surgical attachments, extra attention to maintenance is required. The attachment is ready now to be autoclaved using the FDA-approved pouch. The entire motor and its cord are autoclavable. To disconnect the motor cord, pull back the metal sleeve and pull out the cord. Place the attachment and the micromotor in separate autoclave pouches and seal them before putting into autoclave. Fuse change. In an unlikely event that the control unit does not turn on despite being connected to power properly, check the fuses. 
To access the fuses, use a pointed tool, push on the fuse locking latch, and the drawer will spring open. A spare set of fuses is included in the original package. Replace the new fuses in the box and put it back in its location. If you have any further questions, please visit our support site, nsktech-us.com.